Um, hi. I uh, used to be very into psychoanalysis, which is very much about you know digging up everything that might be causing your unhappiness and uh, all things that are inhibiting your functioning. And um, I heard David speak and met Bob, and I've been meditating for one year now. Uh, thank you. You guys paid for it. Thanks. Um, but it helped a lot more than any other kinds of therapy that were very much about digging up things. Strangely enough, just closing my eyes did it for some reason. And um, I wanted to ask the doctor, because it sounds like you're a therapist of some sort, um, what your take is on that. You talk to people about their problems, I, I'm guessing. And why closing your eyes would work so much better than digging up. And if you still continue to help people dig up things, are those oppositional? Are they working together? What's Well, you know, I, it's a fantastic, um, it's not just a question. It's a sort of, you're, you're musing on a whole variety of things. And, you know, as a psychiatrist for many years, I have administered many kinds of treatment, and I've received many kinds of treatment. Um, so I've been on both sides of the couch or the chair or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say that there isn't a role for this or that or the other. I think that in recent years, we've become less interested in too much digging. I think that there was an overemphasis on the value of digging, and it's still a kind of cultural bias that in order to feel better, you've got to get to the roots of whatever it is that caused a problem. Or I've heard, you know, it took you a long time to get this problem, so it's going to take you a long time to get out of the problem. Well, to me, that's baloney. How long it took you to get the problem has got nothing to do with how long it's going to take you to fix the problem. So what I'd like to say is I don't want to talk down any particular kind of therapy, because there are people who might benefit from many different kinds of therapy. Although I have many colleagues who went through psychoanalysis and after a long and very expensive course found that it delivered less than what it had promised. Um, I feel the same way incidentally about my own psychoanalysis. But in any event, I don't want to talk anything down because there may be people who will benefit from this or that or the other. What I think I would like to say is that given my perspective with all these different kinds of treatments, and I use different kinds of treatments, and I feel there's a value to them, what I think is the real news here is that this particular kind of meditation is a very, very potent beneficial influence that needs to be considered alongside and maybe ahead of some other interventions, like I told you with a man with the rage attacks. So that's where I think I'm really coming full circle back to the light therapy. There was light, nobody thought it was a therapy. Now it can be as potent as an antidepressant, and yet it's something so natural, except you don't get enough of it in the winter. There was something so potent, it was in front of everybody's eyes. And now I think people realize, although really not sufficiently realize how potent it is. I would say the same about this. It's right there. It's in your head. It can simply be learned by people who don't have an MD degree. And yet it can be so very powerful as you yourself testify. And that's really the take home message I would like to leave people with. I'd like to just conclude by Thanking David and Norman. I know that. And as the vice president of the David Lynch Foundation, and our mission is to bring this meditation to as many people as possible. Um, it is a nonprofit organization. And some people brought up the question about the course fee. And there is a course fee, because we pay teachers. We like to pay the teachers of meditation a living wage so that they can teach people. And when you learn, it's not like, oh, I get this thing and goodbye, as the woman in the back will attest. There's a wonderful mentoring follow-up program for the rest of your life. And when funds are given, it also goes to help children learn to meditate. So if you are, if anybody is interested, another thing I have to say, Norman and David are just here at the goodness of their heart. As a matter of fact, proceeds, some of the proceeds from David's book goes to help pay for 
for example, a program now for teenage victims of prostitution who are learning to meditate. So it's a, it's a genuine effort here. So I'll turn it back over to Christina. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you to David Lynch and Dr. Norman Rosenthal. Upcoming events are at strandbooks.com. Dr. Norman Rosenthal will stick around and sign books. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you all very much.